Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another Fake Grand Order video. And I'm here to talk about another thing that's going to be coming up with the 7th anniversary that will be coming up to on NA pretty soon. Um, something I've been trying to figure out the best way to actually talk about. I think this is about the, the third or fourth time I've recorded something about this one. This one should hopefully be a much smaller video because I think I eventually figured out what I need to talk about for it. But we're going to be talking about the select a pick one five star CE from a list of seven choices. So that's going to be today's video. So let's go right into it. So first things first, when is the seventh anniversary on NA? It should be, as the time of you are likely hearing this video, in two weeks time when Anime Expo has their panel uh, on the 6th of July. So two weeks from when this video originally released is when I expect that the anniversary will be live for us. That's not actually the date of the NA anniversary, but we always celebrate it in conjunction with the Anime Expo panel. Now in terms of this uh, event right here, this is a pick one of five CE from a list of seven choices. It will show up on the day of the anniversary is when you can get a present box claim uh, duration. And then I think like for on the next day is when you can actually claim it. It's really weird. Um, they did this on JP. I assume they'll do this on NA too. So we'll see. Um, that's likely the way it is. So if you're asking like, hey, how come I can't get it immediately? I think that's they, they waited a day before you could actually claim it. It's, it's a little bit funky. But anyway. In terms of the selection, we have Formal Craft, Imaginary Around, Limit Zero Over, Kaleidoscope, Prisma Cosmos, The Black Grail, and Volum Hydrogon. Um, now, this is actually going to be... It's funny because I think actually the choice on this CE is tough. It's about a 45, 40... Not a 45, 45, like a 49-49% chance between Kaleidoscope or Black Grail. And then you just never pick one of the other ones unless you already have these two max limit broken. In which case then, yes, you pick one of these. Um, in terms of the non-Kaleidoscope, non-Black Grail ones, there's not a lot of use in them. They have very pretty art. Formal Craft has nice art because it has Rin. Imaginary Round has nice art because it has Sakura. Fans of Shiro, this looks exactly like Miramasa, but it is Shiro. This came out years before that, I think. Because um, this was on launch of the game. Prisma Cosmos have Ilya on it and Volume Hydrogum. Um, I actually use the most out of the ones that are not these two. I use this one for the granting invincibility and sometimes the increase of damage by 200 comes up. But anyway, for the most part you don't pick them unless you already have these at max limit break. And then in this case you just pick the one that you like the most, I guess. <laughs> I know there's some people who will be picking it. For the vast majority of people, that's not the choice. Now between these other two. I actually think there's nothing to go wrong with picking of the other ones, but I think the actual choice of which one you pick can be a little bit tough. So that's what I'm going to try and like help with is that if you're someone who is at an impasse and is unsure of what to actually pick, I want to try and help you talk it out. Maybe have someone to hear like, okay, here's my opinion on it, and maybe that will help you out a little bit. As always, you can feel free to leave down below which one you're going to pick. I'd actually be very curious to see between the people who would pick Kaleidoscope and who's picking Black Grail. Because I know that a vast majority of people who like have known about this and waiting for two years, they kind of already have an idea about which one they're going to pick. But for the other people, it's probably a little bit tougher for it. So... Uh, the reason that this ends up being a pretty difficult choice because I think it actually matters deeply to compare it on the box you have and the units you have as well. Um, obviously, if you have both of them, the one you should get is the one that's closer to being max limit broken. If you both have them at an exact even keel, like let's say you have one Kaleidoscope, one Black Grail, in which case you pick the one that you use the most currently. And if you're at a 0, zero that's when it actually kind of be is really tough where it's like, well, do I pick Kaleidoscope or do I pick Black Grail? Um, Kaleidoscope is extremely useful. It's a when it's actually maximum broken, it's 100% um, NP gauge, which is just insane, especially for any unit that has difficulty using their or getting NP charge, basically. Like, for example, Super Orion doesn't have any abilities to increase NP gain on his own. A lot of it comes from him actually attacking. So if you just give him Kaleidoscope, you'll be able to use him more effectively in that kind of way. Um, and be able to start off with his extremely strong noble phantasm and because of mana prisms you not mana prisms mana loading the second scale from coins a lot of units can actually um a kaleidoscope at just one copy can actually be 100 percent if you're willing to invest the metals into that specific unit that you need it for 
So it ends up being that uh, Kaleidoscope is an extremely effective kind of CE. I've used it the most, I think, out of these two, but I think it's because I didn't get into heavy black rail use until much later. Um, because in the early days, I was using it, um, as someone who was during the quick meta, I was using it a whole buttload during the time where Scotty released because a lot of quick units need, at least as of right now, I don't know if it changes when Ruler Scotty comes out and there's a little bit more options, but I know for a fact that a lot of quick units need the 100%. There's certain units that just straight up won't loop fully in quick unless they have kaleidoscope like that is how bad their NP gain is and that's how much help they need and in that case it can help a lot of those units so it ends up being very effective and quick this is also very effective if you're just in any kind of like fight and you just need someone in the back to have uh NP charge ready and going um an example is is that i like to usually put this on coup when i'm like well i'm pretty confident in his ability to survive because of his many evades his many his, his ability to guts and his ability to heal but what he does need is the ability to just very quickly hit the enemy with his noble phantasm so that when he's the last dude in line he can hit him with a triple quick um three quick cards and that way he can get a whole bunch of crit stars and that can help him build up his mp again for next turn um and that's kind of the way i like to use kaleidoscope in a lot of ways is that uh i don't use it very much now for looping purposes because arts exist now and i haven't done a lot of quick stuff i'm looking to go back into doing more quick stuff when ruler scotty comes out um but in general i feel like in terms of np gain on a lot of stuff it's been helpful to have a lot of like um event ce's have 50 percent mp gain so it ends up being when they're max limit broken it helps a little bit but it still doesn't compare when you have the full power of kaleidoscope on your arms so that's where you the kind of that's the kind of places that you would ever use kaleidoscope is in those kind of situations now black rail on the other hand funny enough black rail is also used for looping and is also used in general for just insane damage if you do not know increase mp damage by 60 percent and when it's max limit broken 80 percent lose 500 hp every turn it is insane. Black Grail lets you farm with Oberon, <laughs> which is typically something that Oberon can't do. The reason is, is that he does not do enough damage, especially at uh, NP level 1, to actually hurt the opponent, to kill them before his um, invincibility on them triggers, and then they won't be able to take any more damage for the turn. With the Black, Black Grail, you no longer run into that issue, really, because when he's fully supported up, he's going to do enough damage to kill, basically most of the things that are going to pop up to him. You can use this with Melusane because Melusane has the 100% MP charger on her third skill. So that means that when she starts using her AoE, she can start with 100% MP and then with the Black Rail, she is dealing 80% damage on top of the already massive damage that she's already doing. It results in some of the funniest farming <laughs> situations I have. Whenever I don't care about anything, I just put Melusane Black Grail and then just kind of go for it because <laughs> I know almost no mob that is just there for regular farming is surviving that shit. They are not living through it. They are dying and they are dying a horrible, horrific death. <laughs> um, in terms of other units, I like to I use it with Mori Ruler Moriarty because the extra damage, uh, he actually is pretty solid in terms of being able to get MP gain back enough, at least in my cases, he at least is able to get back 60%, in which case I can then use his main NP skill and then use Oberon for the final bit. Um, but rulers can sometimes suffer from not doing enough damage, and with the Black Rail equipped, he's able to do enough damage to the point where I'm like, oh yeah, he can pretty confidently kill a lot of dudes that if he was using something like, for say, Kaleidoscope or even something that only gave... 50% NP, but then also gave a lot of two arts. He may have had a little bit of struggle actually killing them. And that's where the Black Rail really kind of shines, is that once you have Black Rail, the amount of damage it gives you is just intoxicating. It is maybe the one of the most like, oh yeah, the numbers get so big. <laughs> it is insane uh, watching your unit go from like, because I've done this test before where I'm like, all right, let me see what it looks like with Kaleidoscope. I'm like, that's a lot of damage. And then I put on Black Rail and it almost doubles it immediately when it's max limit broken. And then also when it's at level 100, you get 2,400 attack. I usually never, never level up CEs because I think it's a waste of time. But Kaleidoscope for me is level 100 and the Black Rail is level 77 and I plan to get it to level 100. I would only do it on CEs that I thought were worth the time and effort or had really good art on it. 
And even then, the really good art ones would be like, eh, every once in a while, I'll level it up. But no, for Black Rail, I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm making the concerted effort to try to get this to 100% as much as I can. So it ends up being then, now that I've kind of talked about a little bit about their applications and stuff like that, when is it actually a good time to pick between them? And I think it really does come down to... What is your box looking at right now? Does it have Castoria? If it has Castoria, I would say probably lean closer to the Black Rail. Does it have Buster units? Well, it's like, well, what kind of Buster units? Is it Buster units that only have like 30% MP charger? Um, and you have Vich and stuff like that to back them up? Or maybe you have Merlin, in which case I would probably lean towards... Hmm... I really do think this comes up to like a 50-50. If it, if it was like just pure blind... I feel like it comes down to what do you care about most as a player. If you're a player who's just like, I want to be sure to be able to NP with a lot of my units, it's obviously Kaleidoscope. But if you're like, no, I need maximum damage now, it's Black Grail. And then if you have Quick, I would pick Kaleidoscope over Black Grail. I think there are some Quick units that can loop with the Black Grail. But for the most part, um, a lot more units will be able to do it with Kaleidoscope. Now, I will say that this might be outdated info because I just don't know how um, Ruler Scotty changes things. So it might just be, in general, better to always go for the Black Rail because of the damage it provides. Uh, now, if you're in a situation where it's 3v3, where you're like, I'm one step away from Kaleidoscope going to Max Limit Break and I'm one step away from getting Black Rail, which one do I pick? I think I pick Black Rail in that situation because, like I said... A mana loading, you can get the extra 20% from that. You cannot get the extra 20% damage from the Black Rail on those type of skills and not on a general use on every unit. Like, you get more attack damage from doing extra hits and hitting a certain type of unit, but that is not the same as just having a blanket 20% more damage. And even then, some units don't get a bonus attack as their third um, coin skill. Um, they get an ability that's like gets them, makes it so that's harder for them to get crit and stuff like that. So I think it ends up being kind of like that. Uh, and yeah, in terms of what am I going to be picking? I think I'm actually going to end up be picking the Black Grail um, because I already have almost two max limit broken kaleidoscopes, and I really don't need more. But I do need more copies of the Black Grail because I only have one max limit broken Black Grail. Um, so yeah, that's I think the use cases for it. Again, this one would end up being a very short video, because even though I think that this ends up being a very tough choice, it's a tough choice that makes it so that like I can't actually tell you outright without you just telling me this is my box, what do you think? Which if you want to leave that down below in the comments, feel free. If I'm awake, I'll answer, but if someone else shows up, and usually someone who, if uh, I think of people who play JP also watch these videos, which I don't know why, but thank you very much. <laughs> you guys uh, teach me a lot about what's coming up on JP and remind me of certain stuff, like when certain banners are not going to be uh, going to be returning, like with Kiara. Um, so I'm very thankful for that. You can feel free to leave down below, and yay, I'll gladly listen to you out and be like, here's what my opinion is. Good luck with whatever you end up choosing at the end, though. And yeah, feel free to tell me what you're going to be picking, depending on your box and stuff like that. I'm very, very lucky to have both Max Limit Break Kaleidoscope and Black Grail, so I can kind of speak to both of them. And I will say that I use Kaleidoscope the most, but it's only because it took me a long time to get any copies of the Black Grail. And once I had it, it is a definite, like, power trip. One of my most used units on friend points is a Melusane. <laughs> it's Melusane with the Black Grail. <laughs> Because people are just like, oh yeah, no, I want a taste of that power. NP2, Black Rail, it does insane damage. You don't know what life is like until you're just like 3 million easy. And you're all like on an AoE unit? So I was doing 1 million to each dude? That's insane, man. That's crazy. But anyway, that's the video. Hopefully for the last time I'll have to record it. And this will be the shortest version of it. Only 14 minutes. Easy enough. Enjoy your Saturday. <laughs> I'll see you guys in two weeks time. Not in two weeks time. Hopefully you watch other videos before then. But I will see you guys in the next one. <laughs> Peace out.